Now, before before we get into before we get into Hunchback. Oh, get rid of that now. I don't need that. Fairlane's been working his magic again. We have two more levels. We have two more levels. These are the fellas Hello, down John here. here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Who's followed? Who's followed? Say hello. Who's followed? Don't be shy. We are all kind people here. Who's followed? Say hello. All the members of MSI are in here. Who's MSI? Who's MSI? I've... Oh, Mega Style. Oh, lurking. Well, you're more than welcome to lurk. More than welcome to lurk. Right. Fairlane. Fairlane has added two more level had two more two more levels to the map. So here we've got two more levels. And what I didn't realise is we have acquired a bar barrel. We've got a barrel sprite. Which I thought was pretty cool. I didn't see that before. But we have a barrel sprite. Not been on Twitch for a while. Oh well, welcome back. So two more levels from Fairlane. So got the ability he's got the he's he's, he's not in my good books because he's put OSK in there. <laughs> but we have got two more levels, these two levels at the bottom. So uh yeah. So what I'm gonna do is um I will put this in Discord so you will we can you oh my god, more bits? Thank you very much. You guys really spoil me. Oh, Doctor, thank you for the 100 bits, mate. Thank you. The bottom looks traditionally hunchback. Yes, I know it does, doesn't it? It does. It does. Um, so, what I was going to do, what I was going to do is going to export it and... Uh, See if we can get see if we can get it scrolling in. Get it scrolling in. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this gonna put this with the extra levels in as the template in Discord, mate. So you we'll we'll have that one from there, yeah. Right. So I've just. I've just exported that. Let's load uh, that in. So we need to change. We need to change this. Right, so hunchback to template. Two template fair lane two uh two or two ten one seven so we'll grab that put that there put that there oh that's a different one now it's ninety in it That should be it. Right, so we just need to change the mapping now because we've added two more levels. So let me uh, find, where do we put it? We put it in storage, didn't we? Uh, da, 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 let's go up here. This is where we went. Right, so we need to add two two more don't we so we need to add two more so 42 
48. It's in sixes, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Two more of those. Two more of those. Two more of those. Two more of those. Oh, nine thirty. Right. Okay. I won't be. A, I won't be. A, I won't be a second. I've got to give Nico his his eye drops. All right. So I'll be back in just a mo. Won't be long. <laughs> Who's gifted the bot to sub? <laughs> 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 the old school coder bots just bit <laughs> nice like it like it <laughs> boy john pay attention to chat yeah he's uh he's 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 um stay away from those stairs buddy Let's see what he's up to. Stay away from those stairs, buddy. <laughs> That's it, just bully your brother. <laughs> oh dear oh dear yes he is very very wobbly very wobbly um it's it's worrying he does lose his he does he does lose his balance uh, quite a lot now. Um, I, I, I spoke to the vet about it, and um, she's she's going to try him on some different meds. Once we've got once he've once we've got his eye sorted out, she's going to try him on some different meds to try and um, try and try and help him out. Oh, you little sod! Oi! Pack it in. Pack it in. Right. Pack it in. You know you're not meant to do that. Right. The little sod. <laughs> That's why he's got an ulcer in his eye. He keeps rubbing his face on the on the carpet. But yeah, he's, he is. Um... <sighs> what? Why is he?
Thought he was rubbing his face again then. <laughs> Didn't say anything about the bed, yeah. Yeah. Oi. Yes, you know. Pack it in, mate. All right. Just because you're ill doesn't mean you're going to get away with it. Just because you're ill doesn't mean you're going to get away with it, right? Right? Right then. <laughs> yes, I've got the camera right there now. Yes, the... Nico cam isn't down there anymore. No. It's it's somewhere where I can see you. Oh, anyway. You alright down there? Alright then. Nico cam's no longer down there. Right. Let's see if we can get the the new ones working. Um I'm yeah right let's see if we can get the new ones working I'm not too sure what map we're loading in aha here we go map one so yes mate yes hang on we'll load it in just in case. Here's lesson 15. So, oops, a bit too soon. Keeping my eye on bugger lugs over there. But there we go, machine code, pressing the space bar, letting go of the space bar. So we've got so we've managed to do it, we managed to do it in machine code, yeah? So we're back now onto Hunchback, and we've got two new levels from Fairlane. Two new levels. So, um, and the levels are, um, it was eight. Um, episode 14, episode 14 was lesson 14 was um oh base the basics of irq vic 2 interrupt raster yeah that was is he doing it again Right. Also, did you see Aston in the background snap his head? Not seen that before. Anyway, anyway, keep. I'll I'll leave it. I'll leave the video there. How long do videos stay on Twitch? Um, two weeks. They only allow two weeks until you become a partner. And then it, it's four weeks, isn't it, if you're a partner? Um, I don't know what's on there. Two to three weeks. Thanks, Proton. I know it...
All right, he's got down. He's got down the stairs. Okay. Oh well, let's catch up. Um, did you do it before Hunchback? Yes, I think I did. Yes, I think I did. It was on the. It was on the twenty-first September, so it was a while ago. So that's four weeks ago. Yeah. I, yeah, you always struggle with gravity, inertia, velocity stuff. Oh, I always fiddle for ages to get what I want, and def, and defo do it badly. Well, hopefully that lesson has helped you, mate. It's it's. Oh, I upload them to YouTube. Don't worry, I upload them to YouTube. The problem, the problem is. Because on YouTube, on YouTube, um, it's we're still doing the 3D maze, aren't we? We're still doing the 3D maze. Yes. So we're on we're on chap we're on chapter 11 of the 3D maze lot, which was um, when was that? December. So. Right, you look at December's videos going so the 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 public are seeing videos now that were done back in December. That's how far far back we are, yeah? As um for patrons, for patrons we're just starting we're just starting um Nico's run. That'll be not next week, week after. Nico's run is the, um, hang on, yeah, Nico's run is going to be the next ones that get uploaded, so the patrons have got, oh, the patrons are on the exclusive videos, the BBC Micro videos, so that's what they're getting at the moment, but these are all, <coughs> these are all the, the streams that I haven't even sorted out yet. I haven't even sorted out, so <coughs> so yeah, we're we're a bit behind. I might just release. I might do. A oh, hello. Yeah. <coughs> oh, bless me. Hey, you give me the sneezes. So yeah, we're t <laughs> the streams are ten months. The, the, the public are seeing streams that are 10 month old and the patrons are seeing streams that are two and a half, three months old. Oh yeah, uh, YouTube, terrible. Uh, you can't even plan. Ads blocker. <laughs> Right, let's see if we can get this working. So, we have got map eight. Right, let's see. Does map eight come up? No. Okay. Have I got the... Have I got the name wrong? Oh, yeah, I've got the name wrong. Got the file name wrong. Oh, it's not in there, is it? Oh, I missed that one, didn't I? Good job we checked these. Good job we checked that. <laughs> Good job we checked that. Oh, use Brave oh, Browser. Right, here we go. Right. Oh, is it still not liking it? Can I open Hunchback... Hunchback 2...
Oh, I missed a zit. Mr. Zero. Right, okay. So, do that, do that, do that. Right, now, go. Here we go. Well, that's map eight, isn't it? Oh, we was put, we was putting quasi in, weren't we? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's put the uh, code back in. Um, where we're scrolling. Right. Let's take that out and put the scroller back in. Right. Let's see. This should start scrolling. Here we go. So that's map eight. Oh, you gotta do a U turn back. Nice. Nice. I didn't realize you had to do a U turn back. All right, okay, let's get map nine up and running. And this is map nine, which is very, very hunchbacky esque, isn't it? <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. Looks like, an, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does. So this template that we've got here, we'll use if not, if if not if I know um, I know Stackbats has been working on, but he's got his own he's got his own map going. Because if I change now this to ten, that should do Stackbats map. There we go. There's Stackbats map. The spikes are not animating on the last level. Let's have a look. Oh, these. Well, the reason those spike spikes are not animating is because they're not the animation sp uh, tile. They're not the animation tile. They are there. That one there. So if you want these to go up and down. Oh, the map after that. Oh, the, yeah. Well, the 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 anim, uh, animation tile's missing. So let let's put it in, right? So if I grab that. There's the brush. If I do that there. Yeah, and that there, and change that to be them. Right, so if we save that and do the export again. Uh, well, you'll see in a minute. Right, so we'll just we've just exported that. So if I go back to map nine, all right, let's do that. You should see now it's going to do animate the the spikes. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Let it bounce back.
See, it's now doing the spike, spike slot. Yeah. And so if we do level eight, but we can jump over them. We can jump over them. When they're flat on the floor, we can jump over them. Yeah. All right. So, and then Stackbats has got his, which is 10, which he's working on a, on his separate file. Yeah, we've got a big jump arc. Yeah. So that's stack bats. And just and remember, remember we do have a a a, a, a spike that's a sprite, yeah? So if I load the original hunchback in, right? And run that, wait for it to uh, get started. There we go. Ooh, there. Hopefully I've still got invinced. No, I haven't. <laughs> God, did I not, did I not turn it off? Um, 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 where is it? Here we go. It's that, isn't it? That, that, that. <clears throat> right. Here we go. Right, look. Here, we've still got a sprite of spike. So this, we could, if we wanted to, we could put the the where those half level ones we could put this sprite on there and they would we could make it go down yeah so there's there is this here so there's two ways of doing the sprite uh, spikes is the character or the actual sprite itself yeah so there's two ways yeah all right. All the uh, all the spikes have the same animation. Yes, because they're using the same character set, the same characters. So we'll we'll never we'll never be able to um, have different different spikes running at different things. But that's where the the sprite spike came into it to allow us to have a bit more flexibility. Yeah. Anyway, right. So. Uh, that's hunchback one. So this is hunchback two. So, all right. So if we go back, to, so let's do nine. And we're not going to do the scrolling. We're going to get quasi back on there. See what happens. Well, <laughs> that's not going to be start point on that map, is it? <laughs> <laughs> right okay let's put it on uh, map one for the moment right so Doxter pointed something out early in the week about the um, where is it the array this array and because and I think um, I think phase pointed it out as well because um, for all the new people that have um, joined and don't have ne have not seen have not seen the video where we wrote the sprite library which was um, Twitch lesson four. Twitch lesson four was the sprite library. Um, we are 
what we're doing, we're, we are creating... So we're not using the sprite library, we're going to do it directly in code, yeah? And so what we're, going to, what we're doing is we've got a sprite array, yeah? So this is the sprite array, yeah? And we have gone and said we're going to have a sprite array of uh, a number of sprites. Now in this case it's 18, so we're going to have 18 logical sprites. 18 logical sprites on um, on each level, yeah? So two are taken up by Hunchback and two are taken up by Jill if she's on that level, yeah? So that means there's going to be 14 logical sprites on the screen, uh, on the level, yeah, at any one time. And so to maintain those uh, 14 logical sprites, we have to create an array that that remember that we can set whether that's that logical sprite's enabled or not, where the X location is, where the Y location is, what's the color of the sprite, what's its base animation frame, and what the base animation frame is, we're gonna keep all the animations in blocks, yeah? So each character's gonna have uh, four animation cells, and so when we say, when we tell it what the base is, that is the start point. And then the any frame, which is the next item on that list, that is the actual frame we're going to display. So it's, like it's the base frame plus whatever, fr whatever frame it's in in the four. So zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, yeah? Then we've got a flag that says whether the sprite's in multicolor mode or not. And we've got a another one for priority because some of the sprites go behind the background, you know, behind the text, behind the wall, yeah. So that is to hold our logical. That's our logical sprite array, and then in the update sprites routine, that that routine takes the logical sprites finds out which ones are on the screen at the moment, and then converts the logical sprite into the physical sprite which the Commodore 64 used. And we've only got eight of them. So at the very most, we can only show eight sprites on a screen at any one time. Out of the four, out, well, out of the 18 really. But if, if you design the level properly and have an even number of sprites throughout even number of bad guys throughout the map, yeah, then we should be okay because we did it on the original one where we had, um, on level one, we had 12 logical sprites on there and we had, uh, we managed to use all the, in fact, I think there was one one physical sprite left over that we could have used, yeah. So that is what that array is all about. Now, this array down here, this array is to explain how the bad guy, um, how the bad guy, well, it basically explains the bad guy, yeah? So the first entry is type. Now the type means arrow, skull, spike, um, spike, um, and there's two, fo two different forms, two different guards, I think. There's two different guards. Yes, there's two different guards, I think. We only we only put one in, in the original one, but I think there's two. Stack Bats did two, I think. Let me load it in. Yes, there's two. There's this one here, and there's this one here. So we've got two different guys. Um, oh, the skull, yes, we got the skull. Yeah, we got the skull. Oh, and the bat, I forgot about the bat. We got the bat as well. I forgot about the bat. So they're all the different types of bad guy. You know, oh, fireball, forgot fireball as well. <laughs> So these are the bad guys, right? So we've got a fireball, yeah? We have an arrow, 
We have two different types of guards. Yeah. Um, we have the spike. We have the floating skull. And we have a bat. Yeah. So that's what the type is. That is to say, for this particular logical sprite, it's going to be a bat. Yeah. Then we're selling what direction. Is it going left? Is it going right? Is it going up? Is it going down? Yeah. So that tells you of the direction. Then we've got the speed. How fast does it move? Then we've got um, a flag. Is it in collision? So that will tell us whether we are uh, there's a collision between that and us minimum x says how far down the x can we go before it stops or turns round yeah um maximum x is the other way so for the arrow minimum x would be starting here and then it goes to the maximum x and then disappears with the guard it's walking backwards and forwards between the minimum and maximum and then this, the virtual sprite number, that is what's used when we do the update sprite system because that matches our virtual sprite with the physical one. Yeah? The save space flip sprite in code. <laughs> no! We're not. It's bad enough that we've got the character animation going. You know? Yeah, for the for the beginner, they won't know how to do that. <laughs> but this is what the array looks looks like. Yeah, so we're going to have um, fixed. We're going to have two fixed um, sprites, which is hunchback and sorry for. Hunchback and Jill. They're the four fixed ones. So Hunchback is sp Virtual Sprite 0 and 1. And Jill is Virtual Sprite uh, 2 and 3. All the other sprites are going to be assigned to the bad guys. Yeah. And then we have a route. We'll have a, so we've got the update sprite routing working. And I know we've got the update sprite working routing. Because we got Hunchback. Uh, sorry. We got Quasi. We've got Quasi just stood still, look. He stood still and he's breathing. So the animation for the the um, the stood still is working. Yeah. So we've what we do is we we've told we set the array to say the base <clears throat> the base animation is his stood still animation, and then that system then works out what the frames are to be using. Um, she's not, right, because we've called him Quasi, right, we didn't, I couldn't spell, I think I couldn't spell Esmeralda, so we called her Jill. <laughs> so Jill is there, Jill is there, as you can see, there she is, there she is, it's just, it's, it's just, I couldn't spell Esmeralda. So we we renamed a Jill. <laughs> Didn't want Disney suing me. <laughs> so yes, there's Jill. There's Jill in all her glory. So, and that's where we left. That's where we left off on the last uh, stream, where we just got Hunchback um, just basically animating. So what time have we got? Right, so it's quarter past ten. Right, so what we was going to try and do is now is to start implementing the control mechanism, but we we can, uh, what we can try and do is, um, I think we should see if we can get quasi moving without the controls, yeah? So if, if we can get him to get go backwards and forwards on the screen just to check that the animation's working, 
we should be all right. So we're gonna we're gonna see if right. Uh, 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 uh. Initialize sprite. That's got to be it, isn't it? Quasi. Initialize sprite. What we got? All right, stack bats. Night, night, mate. Night, night. Oh, thanks, Doxter. I, I hope, hopefully, it's um, it's helping. Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to ch change the animation base. Yeah. Here we go. Because we're using Quasi Idle at the moment. So we're going to change the animation base to, say, Quasi uh, Idle. Now, we want him running. So, uh, game constants. It's going to be in here, isn't it? Here we go. Uh, so... Right, that's what we'll do. Quasi right. Just to see if the animation's working, yeah? So that's gonna be MC. So if I do that, we should we should have quasi walk in now. Oh see? Look. Okay, Fairlane. Night, night, mate. Take care. See you next time. Right. So it's not the it's not the hard. Ooh, have I got them the wrong way round again? Oh, that didn't help, did it, Mister Mister Quotes? Yeah. Uh, He's walking for the blind, yeah. There we go. Right, so. So the right hand animation. So walking right is working. So when we set the base for walking right, that's working. Right, let's try left. Right, let's see. Yeah, I've not we've not put the moving mechanics in yet, mate, because they need to be going with the control mechanics. We're just testing that all the animations work in, yeah? So that's left. That seems to be doing alright. I do think we need a version of Humpy 2. <laughs> right. So what else we got? What else we got? So left. Right. So quasi jump right. Let's do that. So this should be him jumping to the right. Yeah, that's him jumping. What are we talking about now? Right, okay, so that's jumping. So what else am I going to see? Let's just check. Um, Quasi celebrate. Ooh, here we go. Quasi celebrate. 
Does that work? Yeah, see, he's celebrating. Good on. Oh, we still got. We still got the dots in. Hang on, we still got the dots in. Oh, there, look. We still got the dots in. We'll have to sort that out. We'll have to sort the dots out. All right, that's not a problem. Not a problem. That's the whole point of the stream is getting people talking about stuff. Right. Uh, what else is there? What other animation do I want to check out first before we move on? Uh, where are we? We've done idle. Dunno. Dunno. Quasi dunno. This should be him shrugging his shoulders, I think. Hang on. That's not Dunno. Ooh, let's have a look. 8896. 88, where's 88? Is that it? Right, that's 88. Oh, 96 looks the same, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks the same. Right, okay. Okay. So we've got two we've got um a duplicate sprite set. Alright, we'll sort that out. These things we'll find out. Right, what else? Dazed. Quasi dazed. Ah, this is where we've got the extra where the where the um the stars happen. Because he has stars above him. Hmm. That's... Oh, I didn't think about that one. Right. Okay, right, let's do the next one because that's a problem. Climbing. Let's see if the climbing's working. Cool, that's quick. That is quick. Oh dear, that is quick. Um, I should be able to put another one in here, shouldn't I? Eight. There we go. Click on that. What are we on? 116. 116. To 119. Oh, we need to tell it that it's got a sprite, haven't we? Uh, da, da, da. Sprite overlay distance three, four. Oh, it's eight. Okay, I see. Still a bit quick, though. What's he running at? Five. And that's five. Oh, I don't know. It could be alright. Right, so. What's next? Have we got another one? No, that's it. Right, so the animation's working. So we'll put it back to 
to uh, idle. So now we've got to work out the controls. We've got to work out the controls. So we can easily um, we can easily do that because we can just copy what we did before. Because that's not going to change. So have I brought in the keyboard stuff? No. Now we've. I think I've stopped basic and all that, haven't I? Yes. Here. Right, so we need to we need to grab the the control system from hunchback. And then we'll uh, go through it. Is there a variable for speed animation in the sprite object array? No, there isn't. Maybe we should put one in there. Um, maybe we should put one in there but let's let's have a look at the sprites first uh game sprites because it's all it's all going to be based around um it's all going to be based around a timer Determine who's on screen. Oh no, because it's in here. It's quad in it. Because it's in the animation routine. Here we go. Animate. So yeah, each, each thing, each, each bad guy is gonna have their own um, delay. So here, this is quasi. So it's doing the frame count, and then we are. So we're taking the frame counter and then dividing it by two, four, eight, and then and then taking the um, then and in the three to give us our our uh, set. Now, um, jumping, as you can see, it's divided by four, so it's a different delay for jumping. Maybe I need to do one for climbing as well. Maybe I need to do one for climbing. Uh, using keys for input. Yes, we're going to use both. We're going to use keys and joysticks. We did the. Uh, we did it on the original where we used both. Um, but we'll probably um, probably we'll probably bring the we'll probably use the joystick one first. Let me just grab the libraries. So we have a keyboard library and a joystick library. There they are. One, two. Here we go. So I've just pasted them in. So we have a keyboard library that scans the keyboard matrix and then puts it into a 
um, 64 bit by 64 bit matrix yeah so every each bit is set for each key yeah because we've got 64 keys on a Commodore 64 keyboard cause a lot of 64s in there Commodore 64 has 64 keys on the Commodore 64 <laughs> a lot of 64s in there so we've got um, an eight by an eight by eight bit matrix, so sixty four bits in total, and we scan the entire keyboard matrix, and then what we do is we just test the row number. So this is the row number. So each each byte is the row, and then we test the bit for the column when we're doing the thing. For the keyboard, slight, uh, sorry, the joystick slightly different. Is that we read the joystick and we can set it whether to be is, is it port one or port two, and then we've got um, what the last inputs. Uh, what's it was it different? What's the cooldown? You know, so you you can't hit it too many times, and then we've got the debounce check to make sure that you know when you press it, if you don't want it to register again, and then we just store it. We just store what we've got. Um, and so we've got joystick port one and joystick port two. Now I think we was using two before. I think we was using two. So it's a case of now building the control mechanism for the game. So if we start with a very basic control mechanism, just so we can get quasi moving left and right, We'll do that, yeah? So, we need a new file. We need a new file. Gain controls. Right, let's put all the standard gubbins at the top in. Usually two has one input key presses. Oh, joystick port two. Yeah. I think joystick port one is linked to the keyboard, isn't it? Right, we don't need that. Maps. Right, so we'll call this controls. Right, so we're going to do a simple, simple thing. Um, so, trying to remember what we did before I might cheat and have a look. <laughs> Wrong directory. Game controls. There it is. So, what did we do? Um... See, we did a we did a whole rack of stuff there. I don't really, I don't want to try and get too complicated with it this time. So, um, so let's create a new Right, uh, let's see, What? how did we do it before? Did What did we do? Did we read the keyboard first. No, read the joystick first. Uh, 
Oh, and then tested to see if there was a keyboard. Cool, this, oh, this code is, oh. This code is spaghettified. I'm glad we're doing it again. Code is all spaghettified. I am glad we are doing this again. So we read the joysticks. Then we update the frame counter. Well, we don't need to do that now. <laughs> it's hard when the coder doesn't understand his own. Come on, How, when was the last time we looked at this? When was the last time we looked at this? Um, hang on, have I still got my YouTube channel open? Have a look. Where was the last time? Because Hunchback's finished on the on my channel, isn't it? Here we go, Hunchback. Here we go. Right, so this is Hunchback, the last one that's on the channel. Right, so when did we do it? God, it's almost a year ago. First of December. And then we got distracted by a Python bot. <laughs> God, it's a year ago. No wonder. Well, we'll act, we're going to try and document it as well. We're going to try and document it better as well. Try and put comments in. I mean, I did put comments in, sort of. Sort of. Right, so I am using scan codes. Right, here. Using the scan codes, yeah? So basically, we're, load, we're, we're reading the joystick. I, I became a better coder. <laughs> I suppose. I mean, I wasn't really a game... I wasn't really a game coder, was I? I was more of an application coder. So hunch... God, this chair squeaks. Going to have to put some... I don't know what squeak. Oh, it's the. It's the spring. I'll have to put some oil on it. Um, Hunchback was really my first proper, proper, proper game, wasn't it? And so it was a bit spaghettified. So we read the joystick, and then if the joystick didn't have an answer, then we come down here and did the keyboard test. Yeah? We did the keyboard test. And that's this here. So. Do, 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 do. Read joystick. Right, so uh, we will do that's a lot of code. It, it is for the it, it is for the the problem is the control the control this controls file be, became also the collision detection thing and that's why it got a bit spaghettified we need to um, we need to split it out need to split it out so so we'll use the we'll use the joystick. We'll start with the joystick first. We'll start with the joystick. So first things first, we're going to read read the joystick. So um, uh, da, 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 da. Um, I'll bring the keyboard in as well, just in case. 
Right, JSR. Uh, lib joystick dot read joysticks. I think that was the one. So that's reading the joysticks in, yeah? Then um, what we need to do is <laughs> behave, <laughs> behave. Right. Um, so, have I got anything in here? So, read joysticks, and then we've got some check. We got check up, check down, check right, check left, check fire. But we haven't got one that says it's nothing's been pressed maybe that's what we need maybe that's what we need because it's this <laughs> Couldn't resist running a bit of a temp. <laughs> All right, then I'll let you off, seeing as you're not feeling so well. <laughs> it's okay, it's all fun, it's all fun, right? So it looks like we store, yes, we store in there so we can check this. So lib joy two. So what we can do is we can go LDA lib joystick dot lib joy two dot that. All right? And then if it's equal to zero, well in fact we'll do it the other way. If it's not equal to zero, then evaluate uh, joystick controls All right if it is equal to zero we just come back out <laughs> now question is question is No joystick input. Now, if there's no joystick input, that means Quasi must be standing still. Right? And if Quasi's standing still, we've got to set his animation. Right? So we've got to set his animation. So that's where this comes in. Right? So we're going to do the same thing here. Now, this is where we start into the realms of macros. This is where we start into the realms of macros, because if we're going to be copying code left, right and center, that's probably going to be used more than once. Yes, let's get, let's make, so we do have a macros file here, but do I want to muddy the waters? No, let's do this, let's do this. So, um, so we've got game quasi, I think. So we'll call this macro quasi. Like that. So, dot macro. 
uh, set idle animation. Don't need any parameters. And it's that. Right. So in where are we? Where were we? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Controls, that's what we want. So we'll do um like that. And then we can do set idle animation. So that would reset Quasi's um, idle animation, yeah? So I am now going to take that and I'm going to set uh, Quasi. Again, Quasi. We're going to do the same thing here. So we don't need to do that now. Oh, this is look this is going to be going to be better. Right. So, no joystick animation. We we no joystick input. We set the um, idle animation. Right. So, there wasn't joystick input. So, we're going to just check right and left yeah we're just going to check right and left so um in fact there is a function for that isn't there yes so jsr lib joystick dot lib joystick to dot check right As in quasi set idle animation. Um, yes, there are merits to that, but you know, a JSR and an RTS takes, what, 12 cycles? 12 CPU cycles? As, as, and, and you've got to remember that this is going to be inside the raster, the screen frame. And we're, and on, on see, that, that was the problem with Quasi-1, is that we was JSR in everywhere. So we was using 12 cycles, ju just JSR in everywhere. And we was running out of screen uh, CPU time. And that's why I thought if we do the macros, fine. It, it takes a little bit more memory, but we don't, we're not going to waste, tw we're not going to waste 12 cycles, well, six cycles getting there and then six cycles getting back. Yeah. So it's horses for courses, really. Horses for courses. Um, As Roy Storini says, it's much of muchness. You know, it's. I think it's just you have to evaluate for. You have to evaluate for the thing for the, the the game you're doing. You have to evaluate how. Um, how how are you going to do it? We are going to be using a lot of CPU time in a frame because of the scroll, and so we want to minimise the number of wasted cycles. So. You can see that I'm doing JSRs to the read cycle, but it's, yeah, it's, hmm, I can see where you're coming from. Uh, but, 
But, saying that, we are not setting the animation on every frame. Well, we are. Ah! That, that, that. We've got a, um, hang on. Oh, I haven't got it open. Hang on, get rid of four-way scroller because I don't need that. And I don't need that. I don't really need the maps. Right, where's the uh, joystick? Ah, uh, joystick input on last frame. There we go. Right, joystick input on last frame. If that's what I need to check. Because if the on this frame, if it's if it's on this frame, if it's equal to zip equal to zero, I want to make sure. that because if the last frame was um, zero if the last frame was zero we don't want to set the animation yeah we just want to exit because we've already set it to the we've already set the animation to the idle so if the last frame was zero and this frame is zero then we've already gone through this and we don't need to set it so therefore we could make that into a JSR in fact let's do that uh, da -da 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 -da. so let's grab that And we'll put it back into Game Quasi, and we will have another one here. So set animation, and then here um, to idle. Right, okay, so if we go back to up here, where we're there setting, so now this is going to be JSR set animation dot to idle. Yeah, and in the controls, don't need that anymore. This will be JSR quasi dot set animation to idle. Now it's probably complaining because it says it doesn't know what it is, but it's there. Now the reason it doesn't know what it is, it's because it's not on this. Now it should it should be able to resolve it. It should. Yeah, it is quasi. 
Oh, do I really want to import it again? I've already, have I already imported it? Hang on, let's have a look. Game, yeah, I've already imported it, so fine. We can import it in again. There we go, it's gone now. So, reach the joystick. If it was nothing, if there was nothing there before, nothing on this frame, and then nothing. If there was something on that frame. No, this is equal, isn't it? Branch if equal to zero to exit. If there was something in that frame, and then nothing in this frame, then we set the idle to. Right. That's that's the badger. Right, so the end result of this was um, if the carry is set, right? If the carry is set, then we know we're going right, right? So we'll do branch of carry clear to exit. Just for the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to... In here, where we've got set animation, we're going to do something else, which is uh, move. So um, move to the right. All right. So when we so just for the moment we're just going to go up and down the screen we're not going to do the test for whether we're scrolling the screen or not but we're going to go up and down the, the, the screen so we need to load in this little lot so load in the high res sprite number and then we are going to load that but this time we are quasi horizontal direction That's what we did before. Where's Quasi? going right so we're setting it we set the animation right okay so we've got a fraction so we are going to load the x frac comma white then we are going to add oh did I close it so we have a constant I think looks like we've got a constant Yeah, it looks like, here we go, we've got constants. So run fraction and run whole. So we've got some constants somewhere.
that looks like that looks like one pixel, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks like it's uh, one pixel. Right, okay. So we need some gain constants. Have we, did we, have we got them in here? Oh yes, look, there they are. There they are, right. So I'm going to move them into there. Get rid of this now. Right, ooh, controls. Now it's in quasi, here we go. So add hash, game controls, constants, uh, speed, Where's speed? Game constants. Speed. Speed. Why don't I see that? Oh, I know why. Right, let's try that. Hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> jump <laughs> he jumps in he, he says it as I'm actually typing it yes mate <laughs> <That's what. laughs> yes mate I just saw it as um, as your message popped up It will be saved for two weeks. It will be saved for two or three weeks. However, um, however, Twitch state save them. X high. I download them anyway. And the patrons get to see them a good five, six months before anybody else. Once they've gone off Twitch.
Yes, you can do that. When the stream closes, you can rewatch it. Right. That has done that, but then we've got to do it again for the next for the next frame. Now I am thinking of I don't want to have to I don't want to have to work it all out again. So if we so I've got that's the high res so if I do x here then we can do this again but without having to work everything out yeah so we load y store it in x load y store it in x load y store it in x All right, FaZe, see you later. It's not going to be long for me anyway. Because, um, hang on, let me just check. Yeah, Nico's going to need his next eye drops in, th in 20 minutes. So I will probably call it on that one. And then I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Right. Okay. So this is moving to the right. So this is taking the X. Now moving to the right. That's adding. Yeah. So it takes the X frac. Adds the run to, to it. Does the low. Does the high. And then we just copy what we've just worked out into the other sprite. Because we've got two sprites identically over the same. Identically the same. Right. So that's to the right, so to the left is going to be the other way around. So instead of, it's going to be set carry, and we're going to subtract. 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 Right, so they're the two move, move movements alright Doxter no worries like I say it's not going to be long now I don't think we're going to get this moving tonight I don't think right so check right so if it is if he's going right, then we can do JSR quasi dot movements dot to the right. Right, let's try this. Um, Let's try this. Okay. So we do read controls. In fact, oh, go away. I knew you was not going to like that. Right. 
let's do that. So read controls, which then does the evaluation. So we're only going right. So let's see. Ooh, lib. Can't open file constants because there's no such thing. It's ink constants. Right, go. So he stood still, so if I go right. Right, so we've got him going right. Now, as you can see, there's issues. Don't worry about it, there's issues. We're just going. But we haven't set, we haven't set his animation. Because it's this here. Now, do we have a test for... No. So we, we're going to have to... We're going to have to test the previous frame. Gonna have to test the previous frame, I think. So if it's set, then we'll test the previous frame. And it with right. If it's equal to right, that means the previous frame. So we'll uh, branch if equal to move right. But if the previous frame was not right, we need to set the animation. So we need to do this and then move him right. So let's get back into Quasi and we'll create a new animation. So this is to run right. So, game constants. Mm, yes, it was game constants. So, this. So, do, 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 do. that, and then that's HR. I do believe we need RTSs in there. Right, back to this. <laughs> to tune right. <laughs> Turn. Uh, where are we? Turn. Right. So, let's see, does it work? Right, so we're gonna go right, and we still not set in the animation. That looks right, so it's not that. So it's here. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang no, hang on. And it with right. If it's equal to right. I don't think that's right. My brain's telling me that's wrong.
Now, because I've let go, that should that should have uh, gone back to um, stood still animation, but it didn't. Let's try, see if it does it. Maybe I've just got me, right. Go there, let go. Go, let go. Go, let go. Right, so we've clearly got a problem with the high bite. Uh, have I screwed up on the copy? No. So that means there's a problem with the processing. Problem with the processing. Let's do a quick debug and see what's happening. Right. So we let go, it stops. So it B, where are we at? Oh, E, F, F5, F6, F7. Here we go, this is where it splits. Oh, it's changing the wrong one, look. It's changing this one. It's changing that one there. Right, so I bet that's the same mistake as before. Um, bet that's the same mistake as before. Yes, it is. It is. It's there. So we need to do that. In fact, we need to do it there. Then it'll cover both. Right. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Who's that? Who's that? Say hello. Who's just followed? Timisha, is that is that is who's just followed? Welcome. Right, let's see. Let's see if it's done it. So we're getting it to we're getting him to stop. Right, so here we go. Does he carry on? Have I fixed it? Yes I have. Yay! Yay 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 yay. Obviously walks off the screen, but there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, do I do the other one? Um, if 
Isn't he cool? Is he all right? Is he all right? I can't can't see. Hang on. I don't, th I don't think that's a seizure. I think he's just uh, adjusting. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, let's see. I'm gonna quickly, 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 quickly do um, the other one. So, so let's do check left. So, what do that? Uh, da, 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 da. Check left, which is going to be exactly the same as that. Instead, we're doing left instead. Check last frame, then left, left, move left. Right. To the left. Turn left. Now I don't think I've got that in place. Turn left. No, I haven't. We just done idle and to, to turn right. So we'll do the turn left as well. So quasi left. Left. Right. Just make sure. F6 it and see if we can make him come left. So we go that way and we're all right. And yes, look at this. Can I hardly any extra CPU time on it? Right then. And he's off the screen. Right then. So I'm going to leave it there because I've got to give Nico his drops in six minutes. We've got Quasi moving about. Um, so. The next thing we need to do is to link Quasi's movement into the into the stage. So when he moves, when he gets close to the edge of the screen here, about here, we we want Quasi to stay still, but the scene move, yeah, the scene move. So we will try and get that sorted out in the next stream. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the new followers and oh doxter's gone but i'll say thank you for the gift subs and we i will see you on wednesday all right all right guys take care have a pleasant night bye i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much